Hey, Ed Dwarkas, how are you? This is Cheryl Williams. I'm with Santa Cruz Stop Black. I'm the executive director, and there's my program director on the other side. Hi, everyone. My name is Ayo Banjo, and I'm the program director here at Santa Cruz Black. And I like to say Santa Cruz Stop Black. I want to give you a little context of how we started. We actually started um, in 2020. We, um, as a direct result of the protests against um, the tragic murder of George Floyd, and we had lots and lots of community meetings, and out of that came this organization. There's a long, long story, which you can get on our website, because I told it to the group at one of our events. So you can get that, but that's how we started. And I, we aim to bring the Black community together, make us, we don't want to be invisible any longer. We are 1.7% of the, the general population here in Santa Cruz which is, I think, about 286,000. But don't quote me on that. Um, Aya, would you t uh, tell us about our programs? Yes, definitely. Okay. Sorry, that was awkward. Let's start, let's start again. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, Ed Waters, my name is Cheryl Williams, and I am the executive director of Santa Cruz Stop Black, and I'm here with my program director. And I think that's my cue. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Io Banjo, um, program director here at Santa Cruz Black. And let's give you, let's give everyone watching a overview of what we are and why we started. We started, or how we started. We started as um, a direct result of the protests that happened. We we had a um, beautiful protest in Santa Cruz. This is in 2020, after the murder of George Floyd, the very next um, business day, it happened, and um, or that was the planning of it. Anyways, that's how we started. We had lots of community meetings, and one of the things that came out of that is Black people wanted to be seen, Black people wanted to be heard. We're 1.7% of Santa Cruz County, and this was a time for us to stand up and um, make some demands so that um, we could feel like we're, we belong because we should, this is our town as well, our county. And Io is gonna tell, Io is the uh, program director and he has actually helped create our um, program. Yeah, I mean, I love that you said, you know, the protesting turning into the movement work because we're really trying to institutionalize the movement of Black lives and address that through a local Santa Cruz lens, right? So that means understanding how we build the retention and recruitment of the Black community. It means understanding how we alleviate housing pressures from our Black community um, and, and support them in, in finding affordable housing. And that's one of our programs. Um, it means developing a pipeline of leadership to make sure there's not a gap of information here and that we are able to support Black leaders and really diversify uh, what leadership looks like in Santa Cruz County. Um, that's through our leadership program. Program. And it's also by making sure that we're developing community events and uh, we're building a sense of belonging um, and really make sure that Black residents have a sense of ownership of this town. Um, and that's our Black neighborhood programs. So, um, you know, it's such a privilege and an honor to be able to continue the work on um, the movement uh, from 2020 um, here in 2023 um, and developing our community on uh, committee on Black residential affordable housing um, that really is supporting resource centralization and making sure that Black residents have access to um, landlords and to renters and to um, all of these other um, resources um, that are really tailored to support them getting into the housing that they need. Um, and really just making sure that these leadership students are learning about research and how to use research to push forward an, an organizing agenda um, and institutionalizing their organizing movement through that research work um, and partnering with the University of California and other uh, credible great partners um, to be able to bring that uh, to life. Um, so we get to work on these three major programs, housing, uh, leadership, and uh, community events. Um, and we get to continue to build a robust uh, Black community um, 
through executing them. And I'm so honored to be able to have been a part of this last February where we were able to partner with over nine different organizations. Uh, you know, two thirds of them uh, were completely new organizations that we partnered with. We were able to serve um, over 500 uh, you know, folks in the community um, and, and had multiple events every single week. Um, and you know, we continue to do that through our uh, levy breach forum where we're able to provide you know, emergency responses and centralizing resources for uh, our communities of color that were impacted by the flooding that had occurred um, and, and making sure that we uh, also help some politicians um, accountable for um, addressing our community's needs. And so, you know, that I think that's really speaks to not only what Santa Cruz Black is here to do, but, you know, the future, um, you know, and maybe Cheryl, you can talk a little bit about, you know, where we're going next and, and what that future looks like for Santa Cruz Black. In a nutshell, we just want to keep Santa Cruz, we want to keep Black residents here. We want to have a thriving, sustainable Black community, which does, does, imply we need to have affordable housing. We need to be able to build generational wealth. And there, there are programs that will be coming out, but there's, at the moment, there's four of us doing the work of 20. We need, we need funding to get us through. What started us off was a grant. And while we've applied for some grants, we still need more money. We need, um, we're doing great work and we're the only organization that's doing the work that we're doing here in Santa Cruz County. Yeah, I think that's really important to speak to the urgency of the need too, because Santa Cruz Black um, is really um, operating um, at, at, at the tailspin. And we wanna make sure that we can continue to fund our operations and our staff and uh, employ and the continued uh, employment of all the Black folks who work in Santa Cruz Black. Um, so really supporting us is supporting the Black community. And we're so excited to be able to be a part of this process with you all. Yes, it's, it's an honor to work for to work for the Black community here in Santa Cruz and to be a part of the greater movement in the nation. It's actually global. It's it's a global movement. And um, it's an honor, it's a privilege. And and I'm glad, I'm so happy I found Ayo. He's just one of the, the um, one of the other two that I work with, but yeah. So awesome. Well, thank you everybody for having us and we look forward to hearing y'all back, okay? Cheryl, we'll get back to work. <laughs> yes, we will. All right. Bye now. Thank you all.